Welcome to this video. A drawing of a set of objects on a mimic does not provide much benefit unless the objects indicate what is happening to the physical device. Mimic elements can be animated to control their behavior. Animation is a property of a mimic element that can be dynamically altered according to values of database object properties. In this video we will draw and animate a reservoir. In this mimic, the level of the reservoir will move up and down based on the value of the internal analog input. And we are going to add a pump that will change color to indicate whether it is stopped or running. There are some important concepts related to animation names, the first is the database object names. Each object in the clear SCADA database is referenced by its location in the hierarchy. For example, the level point is known as training.reservoir.level. Each folder level is separated by a dot in the same way that folder levels in Microsoft Windows are separated by a backslash character. This means that multiple objects in the database can have the same name, as long as they are contained in different folders. Secondly, the quotation mark in an animation. Any string that is enclosed in double quotes is evaluated. For example, if you enter the string.level.fullscale, clear SCADA returns the value of the fullscale property of the level point. All animations related to database properties are shown in double quotes. And lastly, relative and absolute addresses. When using the objects in animation, either a relative or an absolute address can be used. An absolute address contains the full path name for the object. A relative address uses a notation whereby the point is named relative to the location of the calling animation. For example, if we were to call the full scale property of the level point from the mimic training dot reservoir dot default, the following would be used dot level dot full scale. The single dot at the beginning of the animation name means that the animation is in the current group. Each additional dot means go up one level in the group hierarchy. For example, for a point named test in the root of the system. A relative address from the mimic default in the reservoir folder would be dot 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 test dot full scale. The first dot means to start in the reservoir group. The second dot means go up one level to the training group, and the third dot means go up one more level to the root of the system. Now that you are familiar with these concepts, we can begin to create a size animation. From the graphic tools, select the rectangle and draw a small rectangle. This rectangle represents the water in the reservoir and is used to show its level. Now we will draw a larger one on the bottom to represent the tank body and change its color. Right-click on the large rectangle and select Arrange, then select Send to Back. Now select the square that represents the water part, right-click and select Animation from the menu. The Animation window allows you to associate the properties of a mimic element with the values of database object properties. For example, you can associate the value property of a text box with a point so that the text box shows the current value of a point in the database. From the list, select Size Max property and click the Edit button. The Size Max animation represents the maximum size of the rectangle. Select the Browse button and from the menu select OPC Tag. The Select Tag dialog opens. In this dialog, you can browse through every object in the clear SCADA and see its associated properties to use in an expression. Now select the full scale property tag of the level point. The full scale property tag is within the config branch of tags because it is a configuration setting. Click OK to close the dialog and return to the animations window. Note that the expression entered in the size max field is dot level dot full scale.
Now we will repeat the same steps with size min to be associated with zero scale. Also, repeat the same steps with size val to be associated with current value. Select the fast update checkbox and press close. The size val animation sets the rectangle size to relate to the current value of the point between the minimum and maximum value. Open the properties dialog for the rectangle. In the dynamic sizing section from the direction drop down menu, select bottom to top. This specifies that when the rectangle increases in size, it grows from the bottom upwards. The higher the value, the taller the rectangle will be. It's important to make sure that you enabled override property in your internal point. Place the mimic in run mode and verify that the water level in the reservoir is adjusted as the level analog input changes. In the next video, we will animate a pump in the mimic. We recommend you try this exercise by hand. See you next time.